Hey guys, what's up? So, after several months, we can finally go to our favorite bando. Uh, you know, the one that uh, people always like comment like that it looks like some Call of Duty map. Well, uh, a Hollywood movie was shot there. Uh, the movie is called Afterburn with uh, Samuel L. Jackson. So basically they stopped filming there now. So uh, we can finally go back because it was uh, out of bounds like for, uh, I don't know, three months or something since April. So I'm really stoked. Uh, we are going with some friends and let's see how it turns out today. All right, so we arrived at the location. So it looks like there is nothing anymore here. Like uh, cut away all the weeds and here also. So let's explore if something changed. All right, so the first thing that we notice is like these entrances are bigger now. This is bigger, so probably they came in like with uh, tanks and uh, whatnot. And yeah, it kind of looks different than it looked before. So uh, let's see next year when the movie comes out, like how it will look. Uh, because yeah, it looks like because they were actually like probably driving with tanks and whatever in here. But yeah, this is also this wasn't here before. But this actually surprised me the most because this is now pretty huge. Okay, this it's a complete upgrade of the whole spot. So yeah. Cool. We are going uh, upstairs now, so let's see if something changed there, but I don't think so. I think they were only like down here. What up, Spop? <laughs> uh huh. They cover these holes here, but these are open, so yeah, who knows. Oh, that looks like new graffiti there. <laughs> All right, let's go to the top floor. All right, so we are on the top floor now. Looks like nothing changed here. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, the swing is gone. No swing anymore. Well. Oh. I actually really missed this spot. I'm so happy that it's open again. <laughs> because we were kind of scared. Uh, that will never be never be back again because we thought they will forever close it and make it like only like private property but it looks like that wasn't the case so we can finally do some new reviews and stuff in here <laughs> all right so <laughs> all right so this wasn't here before so this is something completely new and probably it was here but it was there were so many weeds that you can't see anything so i'm sure they had some like crazy fight scene in here or whatever <laughs> so yeah they also had a crazy fight scene right now yeah, yeah with the hill <laughs> this looks super crazy i mean what a spot look at that actually it's a pity that we didn't uh, see this before because i think uh, before when it was completely like full with weeds, it was probably also really cool. But yeah, new spot unlocked. We got a new DLC. <laughs> oh, here also. What the hell is this? A leather. A leather. Okay, cool. What the hell? <laughs> this is like. What's here? Yeah, that looks radioactive, but okay. <laughs> Alright, so... Here. This is also probably a place that you will see there. Uh, Alright. Let's go. Here we have the HGLRC Talon. Well, I already broke the frame, but yeah. Shit happens, I guess. I mean, this little thing is just 
really amazing. It's crazy how good it flies and basically the tune on it is like really, really good. Uh, I decided to make for once a video that is like easier like this, like not to do too much like, uh, like you know, cinematic things. But I just wanted to show you how it flies so uh, you can see here in the video. Uh, I got this drone from AJLRC and I have to say I love it. Uh, I sold actually my uh, 2.5 inch uh, basically because this little drone can handle like a naked GoPro, my GoPro bones and I don't need any other drone than that. I fly it with uh, the Ovenic 850 milliamps batteries and only thing that is maybe like a disadvantage is that this is XT60 and well the drone has XT30 so you have to like, use an adapter but that's not like a huge issue because yeah these adapters are like I don't know two euros or whatever but yeah the only thing is that you have to like uh, use that one so the cable is a little bit too long but I solved it like with some rubber bands and it works really well all right so i'm going to do some flying around the bando so um like i said uh, i want to show you how it flies and it flies really good a uh, nice thing is also that you get like two profiles like two pit profiles uh on the one you have basically uh only for o3 and the other one is for camera so it also comes with a mount for a naked gopro or the gopro bones uh so yeah, it's uh, it's a two inch. Uh, before I had the two and a, I have a two and a half inch, and also uh, like a three and a half inch. And for interior and like flying like some regular stuff, it's uh, completely uh, good to have this one. You actually don't need anything else. Uh, so yeah, uh, the DJI O3 inside the drone is like really really nice because uh, yeah. I mean, because I mean, yeah, the quality of the video is like uh, really solid. So basically, this is like a custom Avata, you know, because the Avata has basically the same camera. All right. Uh, also, this drone comes, you can choose if you want it with Crossfire or Express LRS. And uh, it is with DJI O3. Uh, I have the Express LRS version, the 2.4, with the O3 and using it with the goggles too. What I actually really like is that they put like these rubber covers here and here you can access the DJI O3, like really simple. Uh, it's really cool because it looks like uh, like some consumer drone, you know, uh, because yeah, you have that. And also uh, here, basically under the battery now, you have um, like also the USB connector. Yeah, it's it's via micro USB, but that's a nice thing that you don't have to like put like a cable if you want to connect it to beta flights, like somewhere, I don't know, here, wherever. So uh, yeah, uh, I also tried to fly the drone like with the, with uh, GoPro bones, and while it is really flying really good when when you fly basically like let's say inside of somewhere. Uh, or somewhere like uh, where there is like uh, not too much wind or wind is okay but once you go higher then you can get a lot of prop wash once you come down uh, but that's that's a normal thing for a whoop you know you cannot un like expect that it will fly like a five inch because it's in a whoop um, so yeah so basically uh, the uses that I want it for is mostly for interior shots so for me it's completely okay uh, that it is um, basically uh, only like for the interior and that uh, like that is not really um, so yeah I don't want to use the drone like to fly like I don't know up to some towers I did it and I learned that it's not really really doable to fly it like that but I mean you can still do it I mean like with the tune that you have for uh, with, with the camera then it's completely doable but I would actually use it mostly like for these slow cinewhoop shots uh, maybe interiors and yeah around people because it's safe and it's a small thing also with a battery if you don't count in like the GoPro it's uh, I think the drone is 150 grams or 145 and it's around 200 almost 250 I think with an 850 battery
All right, so uh, we are really happy that we can go back to the spot. Uh, and from now on, you will see more videos again from here. So uh, yeah, we are leaving now because the mosquitoes are starting to eat us. <laughs> so uh, yeah, thanks for watching. From now on, I will do more reviews from here. Okay guys, see you, bye bye.